Yes, I will run, and I will run to you, to your words of truth. It's not by might, not by power, but by the Spirit of God. Yes, I will run the race till I see your face. Oh, let me live in the glory of your grace. And I will run, and I will run to you, to your words of truth. It's not by might, nor by power, but by the Spirit of God. And yes, I will run the race. Till I see your face Oh, let me live in the glory of your grace Yes, I will run Yes, I will run To you To your words of truth It's not by might Not by power But by the Spirit of God and yes, I will run the race Till I see your face Oh, let me live in the glory of your grace Till him I will run And I will run to you To your words of truth It's not by might nor by power but by the Spirit of God And yes, I will run the race Till I see your face Oh, let me live in the glory of your grace Yes, I will run the race Yes, I will run the race Till I see your face Oh, let me live in the glory of your grace. And yes, I will run the race till I see your face. Oh, let me live in the glory of your grace. Yes, I will run the race. Yes, I will run the race. Till I see your face. We love you, Jesus. We love you this morning. Come on, someone just worship him. We love you this morning, Jesus. We love you with everything in us. Come on, somebody help me praise him. Glory to God. We love you, Jesus. We honor you this morning. We adore you, Master. We love you, Jesus. Yes, I will run the race till I see your face. Oh, let me live in the glory of your grace. Yes, I will run to you, to your words of truth. It's not by might. Not by power, but by the Spirit of God. And yes, I will run the race till I see your face. Father God, on this morning, may Pastor Amy, we join our faith. We lift your wonderful people up before you on this morning. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, that you take them from failure to success. Step into their situations. We pray that you give them victory. Show them the key to victory, God. Let someone be encouraged by this word on this morning. Let this word get deep in their hearts, deep in their spirits. Let it bring faith, God. Let it bring hope. Let it bring courage. Let it bring healing, God. In the name of Jesus Christ, somebody say amen. 
Praise God. On this morning, we continue in our series, You Will Make a Comeback. Glory to God. And on this morning, we are talking about from failure to success. As we look at on Sunday morning, we saw that Joshua, he lost a critical battle because he did not know that there was sin in the camp. And uh, and it was after a great victory. I mean, after defeating Jericho, that's Lord, I mean, who would not be on a high, on a high? They were on cloud 10,000. <laughs> but they came down pretty quick when they sent 3,000 men out and the small, tiny nation of AI defeated them, slaughtered 36 of them. And then God told Joshua there was sin in the camp. God told Joshua there was sin in the camp. And Joshua took care of it by getting rid of Achan. And once they got rid of Achan, God's anger was pacified. God, God was pleased. And now here comes the word of God from failure to success. My, my, my. This brings us to Joshua chapter 8. So this brings us to the book of Joshua chapter 8 from failure to success because Joshua, Joshua didn't know nothing about losing. Joshua, all he knew was winning every single battle because that's exactly what God promised Joshua. He promised him victory after victory after victory. He said, there shall no man be able to stand before you. He said, as I was with Moses, I'll be with you. And he told him, there will no man stand before him all the days of his life. This was the only time in Joshua's life that he lost a battle. I mean, that's not a bad record. One out of a hundred, one out of a hundred, ninety-nine wins and one loss. I'll take that any day of the week. But there was a reason Joshua lost. He lost that battle because somebody on his team, they dabbled with sin. They had stolen things that had belonged to God. And God showed it to Joshua when Joshua was praying and crying out to God and on his face asking him why. God showed him what was wrong. And Joshua, they took care of business. And as soon as they took care of business, God's anger was pacified. This brings us to Joshua chapter 8, beginning at verse 1. And the Lord said unto Joshua, Fear not, neither be thou dismayed. Don't be discouraged. I, I know you lost. I know it hurt. But you did what I asked. You fixed it. You, 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 you right the wrong. You made things right. You got rid of sin. You got rid of the problem. God says, now things are about to take a turn for the better. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. Joshua about to make a comeback. Sorry, AI, don't, don't go to sleep now. If you think it's over, we got bad news for you. Take all the people of war with thee and arise. Go up to Ai. See, I have given into thy hand the king of Ai and his people and his city and his land. Joshua didn't hear that. He didn't hear that before. Jo see, and I, let's 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 make let's keep it real now. Had Joshua prayed and sought God before the battle, before he attacked Ai. God could have saved him a whole lot of trouble. This was the, that was the only time Joshua did not seek the face of God. He listened to his men. His men, now, he, he listened to his men. His men said, oh, that's a little tiny, that's a little tiny city. That's a little tiny country. We can wipe them out. You don't even need all the men of war to go. We only need 3,000 men, and it's, it's over for them. Wow. That was his men in his ass. That wasn't God talking to Joshua. That was his men in his ass. Had Joshua sought God before he attacked Ai, God would have told Joshua, you can't go against Ai. There's sin in the camp. But once he lost, Joshua said, I'm fixing this thing quick. And God showed Joshua exactly what to do. And now Ai about to get a surprise. Because Joshua's coming at him but this is a Joshua who got things right in his camp. But AI is going to think that, oh, we just, we whipped him the last time. We'll whip him again. Not this time, devil. Our sin's not in the camp anymore. We coming at you. Glory to God. I feel the Holy Ghost right here. Listen to what else God tells Joshua. He said, and thou 
shall do to Ai and her king as thou didst unto Jericho and her king. Only the spoil thereof and the cattle thereof shall you take for a prey unto yourselves. Lay thee in ambush for the city behind it. All Achan had to do was wait one chapter, man. All he had to do was wait one chapter later, and he would have been he would have been given the stuff. But some people want to take matters into their own hand and grab stuff that that doesn't belong to them out of season. You, are you listening? You see, you see how tricky the enemy is. He wants to tempt you with it, and all you got to do is wait one more battle, and God's gonna say, "Hey, all of that stuff is yours." Lord, have mercy. How tricky the devil is. But you see, Achan, he caved into that temptation and ended up losing his life and soul over it. Lord, help us, Jesus. So Joshua rose and all the people of war to go up against Ai. And Joshua chose out 30,000 mighty men of valor and set them and sent them away by night. His men said only take 3,000 and they lost. Now Joshua's taken 30,000. He's taken 10 times the amount of men. There's a difference when we hear from God. Come on, somebody. And he commanded them, saying, Behold, you shall lie and wait against the city, even behind the city. Go not very far from the city, but be ye all ready. And I and all the people that are with me will approach unto the city, and it shall come to pass when they come out against us as at the first that we will flee before them. For they will come out after us till we have drawn them from the city. For they will say, they flee before us as at the first. Therefore, we will flee. Therefore, we will flee before them. So Joshua is saying, we're going to make them think they're about to whip us and beat us down like they did the first time. Ah, but we got a surprise coming for the devil. I dare someone to open your mind and say, devil, if you think it's over, we got news for you because we about to make a comeback. We about to make a statement with this victory. Glory to God. Then you shall rise up from the ambush and seize upon the city for the Lord your God will deliver it into your hand. And Joshua and his men, they begin to execute on the plan that God had given them. Some of them went up to Ai, some of them went behind, and then the, the smaller group began to run. Watch this. And there was not a man left in Ai because they are chasing after Joshua and his men because they think they're about to defeat them like they did the first time. They didn't know this was a trap. This was a setup. Glory to God. They didn't realize Joshua had fixed things in the camp. He was full of faith, and he came under the authority authority and the instructions of the Lord his God. There ain't no way you can lose when you go like that. Lord, help me, Jesus. And there was not a man left in Ai or Bethel that went not out after Israel. And they left the city open and pursued after Israel. And the Lord said unto Joshua, stretch out the spare that is in thy hand toward Ai, for I will give it into thine hand. And Joshua stretched out the spear that he had in his hand toward the city. And the ambush arose quickly out of their place, and they ran as soon as he had stretched out his hand. And they entered into the city and took it and hasted and set the city on fire. And when Joshua and all Israel saw that the ambush had taken the city and that the smoke of the city ascended, then they turned again and slew the men of Ai. They turned and they faced him. Joshua said, we got you. You thought, you, you thought we were running from you, but it was a trick. Uh, I'm back. Glory to God. God dare someone to open your mouth and say, I'm back. Can someone type below this video and say, I'm back. I'm going from failure to success. I'm going from losing to winning. I'm going from sickness to hell, from, po from poverty to wealth. Come on, somebody. Lord, help me, Jesus. I'm going from down to up, from weak to strong. Shout yes. Glory to God. Watch here, y'all. And the king of Ai, they took alive and brought him to Joshua, and Joshua had that man hang. Why? Because he defeated them. He defeated them. What made Joshua win 
was he had some sin in the camp that he had to get rid of. He eliminated the sin problem. He had to fix it before God. And once they got rid of the sin, once they got rid of the problem, they entered into a winning season. I'm talking to somebody. You're about to enter into a winning season. Glory to God. Listen, you're about to enter into a winning season. You're about to make a comeback. That's why you had to you had to do what you had to do. You had to make the choices you had to make. Now you're getting ready to go from failure to success. Because you can't win when sin is in the camp. You got to fix it. And Joshua fix it. And once he fix it, they went and they defeated AI handedly. They stumped them. They whipped them. They got the victory over them. I'm talking to someone who just suffered a great loss. You're about to enter into a season of victory. God's working in your life. I say God is working in your life. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, me and Pastor Amy, we cover your people. We cover them in the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you, God that you are taking them from failure to success, God, from losing to winning, God, from down to being up, from weak to being strong, from discouraged to being encouraged, God. We thank you, God, that their prayers are about to be answered. You said, call unto me, and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things that you know not. Me and Pastor Amy, we cover them in the blood, their marriage, their finances, their health, their health, their family, God, their, their children, their jobs, their businesses, their ministry, their future, God. We cover the rest of this year, 2024. We cover them in the blood of Jesus. We cover you, we cover you, we cover you. We cover you in the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. You are coming out more than a conqueror. You are about to make a comeback. You are about to make a comeback in the name of Jesus. Somebody give God praise right now. I said, somebody give God praise. Somebody give him praise. You're about to make a comeback. You're about to make a comeback. You're about to make a comeback. Come on, somebody give him praise. You're about to make a comeback in the name of Jesus. You're about to make a comeback. You're about to make a comeback. You're about to make a comeback. You're about to make a comeback in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. To give in this offering, you can visit us online right now at seanpinder.net forward slash give. You can also give through the ministry PayPal account. That address is paypal.me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also give through the ministry app. Amen. You can also give through the ministry cash app account. That email address is info at seanpinder.net. You can also give through the ministry cash app account. That address is the dollar sign, Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also text the give. All you have to do is text the letters SPM to the number 45888, and a link will automatically be sent to you. You can also mail your donations into the ministry. Just remember to make your checks and money orders out to Sean Pinder Ministries, P.O. Box 2726, McKinney, Texas, 75070. Never forget, me and my beautiful wife, Pastor Amy, we love you, we appreciate you, and we'll never take you for granted. God bless.